all right good morning and welcome to master talker online class in today's video we are still on continuation on uh, physics was book solution we have solved question number one to 120 so we'll be starting from question number 121 question number 121 please if today is your first day of watching our video please click that red subscribe button and like the video so that youtube can share it to other people okay so question number 121 said um they said if if a body if a body is pulled if a body is pulled by a force pulled by a force of 40 newton comma and i say calculate okay causing causing the body causing the body to experience causing the body to experience a velocity of velocity of two meter per second then i say what what is the power exerted on the body okay solution now the first thing they gave us is force force is equal to my f my f is equal to 40 newton and then they gave us our velocity which is what two meter per second now you know that power let me derive the formula power is equal to what mgh over t right uh, that is potential energy over time but you know that mg is force force is mass times gravity so force is this mg then me h is distance over time distance over time is velocity so that is this so which means i have 40 times 2 which is what 80 watts okay this is a very simple question so we move to question number 122 question number 122 said that um if a is equal to a x i plus a y j plus a z k and b is equal to b x i plus b y j plus b z k okay then i say find find a b and a dot b okay solution now a b a b is the same thing as a dot b okay so but you can make your research but i know that a dot b is dot product okay and dot product of two vectors simply means to multiply the scalar that is a x dot b x plus a y dot b y plus a z dot b z so that is the answer so Find out from your textbook that what A B is. I think A B is the same thing as A dot B. I think it's the same thing as A dot B. Okay. So that is that. So we move to the next question, which is question number uh, 123. All right. So question number 123. Question number one, two, three said, what, what will an object, an object weigh in kerosene, kerosene of relative density 0 0.7, if it's, if it weigh if it weigh 300, 300 gram in air and 150 gram in water. Okay, solution. And we should know that they gave us the weight in air. The weight in air is 300 gram. And then they gave us the weight in water, 150 gram. Then we are looking for the weight in kerosene. But I know that relative density is equal to what? Up thrust, 
of trust in that liquid and which liquid are we talking about kerosene of trust in that liquid all over what of trust in water of trust in water right so of trust in kerosene means weight in air minus weight in that kerosene of trust in water means weight in air minus weight in water so they gave us that is for relativeness they have given us that relative density is 0 0.7 is what weight in air 300 minus weight in kerosene that i'm looking for all over 300 minus 150 so if you cross multiply you are going to be having 0 0.7 is equal to 300 minus weight in kerosene all over 150 so let's cross multiply now to have 150 times 7 So I have 150 times 7, 150 times 7, sorry, 150 times 0 0.7. So I have 105 is equal to 300 minus weight in kerosene. So weight in kerosene will now be 300 minus 105. So which will give you, so 195 gram. Okay, you see that this is very, very simple. We move to question number one four one twenty four question number one twenty four question number one twenty four said that um <clears throat> a turntable a turntable of radius forty cm rotates rotates with an angular acceleration of 3 rad per second square then they now say calculate calculate its tangential acceleration okay solution um question number 124 it dies of that okay so we know that um you should know that tangential acceleration is equal to what angular acceleration times your radius okay angular acceleration times your radius so they've given us that the radius they gave us that the radius is 40 cm which is 0 0.4 meters okay and then they now gave us that uh angular acceleration is what three rad per sec square so i'm going to have that it is what three times 0 0.4 which will give you three times 0 0.4 0 0.4 times three i have 1.2 1.2 rad per sec square okay so i have question number 125 and question number 125 said um they said a body A body moves moves a distance a distance of r which is equal to 2i minus 5j minus 3k sorry minus 2k okay they said in meters under under the action under the action of force f which is equal to 2i minus 2j minus k in newton then i say find the work done by the force solution so i think there is a question that looks like this that i make mistake on you know that force work done is force time distance and work done is a scalar quantity so work done since it's a scalar quantity so it's going to be dot product not cross product right so dot product of force and distance so which is what 2i minus 2j minus k dot 2i minus 5j minus 2k so if you look at this 2 times 2 is 4 minus 2 times minus 5 is plus 10 minus times minus 2 will give you plus 2 so everything here is giving us 16 what newton seconds which is due okay so that is for question number 125 
So move to question number 126. Okay. So question number 126. Question number 126. So for question number 126, it says that what a period of pendulum depends on the three factors. Okay, the three factors that pendulum depends on is number one, the mass of the bulb. Number one is the mass of the bulb. Number two is the length of the pendulum. And then number three is what acceleration due to gravity. Okay, so the next question, question number 127 said, if the net force applied in a in the direction of motion to a certain object on a horizontal frictionless surface is doubled then the acceleration of the the object will equally double yes if the force doubles then the acceleration will double because force is directly proportional to what acceleration okay yes so if it doubles it's going to double as well so question number 128 so question number 128 so question number 128 said that a a compact a compact disc accelerates uniformly accelerates uniformly from rest to an angle angular speed of 300 rad per minute okay then in two seconds then i say calculate calculate the angular acceleration angular acceleration of the disc okay solution now what did they give us the first thing they gave us was a uh, angular speed, which is omega. Angular speed they gave us is what? 300 rad per minute. So which is what? 300 divided by 60, which is what? Um, 6 times 5, that, that is 5 rad per second. Okay. So the next thing they gave us is uh, that the angular speed, initial angular speed is what? 0 meter per second because it started from rest so we know that our v is equal to what u plus 80 change it to angular so angular velocity is equal to what initial angular velocity times angular acceleration times time okay sorry plus angular acceleration times time so we don't have the word five is equal to what zero plus um my time they gave me is your two seconds okay so i have that um alpha times two so you have that what 2 alpha is equal to 5. <coughs> so 5 is equal to 5. Um, alpha will now be 5 divided by 2, which is um, 2.5 in rad per second square. Okay? So you see that this is very, very simple. So we'll move to question number 129. Question number 129. Question number 129 said, when when a mass m is hung is hung on a spring is hung on a spring comma then i see the spring the spring stretches stretches by 8.0 cm then i say determine determine its period of vibration comma if it is slightly pulled and release okay solution now for question number 129 the first thing they give us is extension it will extend by that 8.0 cm which is what 0.08 meters okay 
So the next thing they gave us is um, the next thing you need to know is acceleration due to gravity is 10 meter per second per second square. Now we know that um, our f is equal to ke. We know this very very well. Okay, and then our f is t mass times acceleration. Is it not true? Is equal to ke. So let us put the ones we already know. So m m times 10 is equal to what k times 0 0.08 so we now have that what m over k will now be what 0 0.08 divided by 10 which gives you 0 0.008 okay in second square how is this second square now let's check how we got that second square okay we know that our force is equal to what mass times acceleration which is measured in what let me say kilogram meter per second square right uh, so now if we have this to be kilogram meter per second square we will see that um or let us put everybody let us put everybody we know that our mass okay and then we know that our k our k is equal to what uh, e over over mg over mg so our e is equal to what in meters and our m is kg then meter per second square okay so since we have this now you know that this take care of this so i'm left that k is simply uh one over kg second square is it not true so if you now put it here you see that our m is kg divided by uh uh divided by kg per second square so you will still be having that um that this is uh what am i saying that is this is a uh, second square okay uh do i do we do it just know that m over k will give you this instead of wasting time in trying to derive it so that is that now the next thing we need to do is that then they said that the period of the vibration of the mass was pulled and released okay if it was pulled and released, we know formula for period formula for period is equal to um two pi the square root of what l over g right uh, or m over k m over k this is another formula you need to know so if we now put it here if you now put it you are going to have that the period they say we should calculate the period so the period will now be what 2 times 3.142 then the square root of what m over k we have got it as 0 0.008 so do everything here you will now get your last answer to that particular question so we move to the next question question number 130 question number 130 so question number 130 said that we should said what what is the instant instantaneous speed of a car of a car moving moving according according to the equation according to the equation x is equal to 2 t raised to power 3 plus 4 t squared plus 110 t then then i say at t is equal to 4 seconds okay now solution they give us they give us that our x is equal to 2t raised to power 3 plus 4t squared plus 110t. So we should know that speed is equal to what? The x over the t. So which is what? This time this, that is 6t squared. This time this will give you 8t. Then this one will give you 100, 110. So if you don't know how to differentiate, go and watch my video on differentiation. Now, at the point they gave you, t is equal to 4 seconds. So we now have that s is equal to what? 6 into 4 squared plus 8 into 4 then plus 110 so you are going to have that um question number one third everything will give you 238 meter per second so that is that so thank you very much for watching this particular video please like share comment the more you comment the more the video will go viral so thank you very much